Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. Nostra expresses concern over rising speeds of oil spills. 174 million Nigerians lack access to cooking gas, silver. Why receiving crude oil payments in Naira is counterproductive. And now, the news in detail. The National Oil Spills Detection and Response Agency, Nostra, has raised the alarm over rising speed of oil spills caused by sabotage, oil thefts, and pipeline vandalism. To this end, the Director General of Nostra, Dr. Idris Musa, charged oil operators to tighten security on their assets to avert damage to the environment and loss of oil and gas revenue. He explained that the incident that was investigated within the past few days were traced to sabotage, adding that the ongoing gas leak from a gas line operated in Nigerian Ajip Oil Company in Yenogwa Biosa State was due to activities of vandals. The agency received the report of a joint investigation visit on 6 Nembe Obama pipeline in Sabatoru, Nembe local government in Bayelsa. The incident occurred proximal to an artisanal refining site which operators are suspected to have vandalized the pipeline to steal crude oil. This vandalism has a backlash on the main gas delivery pipeline from the OBOB gas plant of the Nigerian Ajib Oil Company, he said. About 174 million people in Nigeria lack access to the use of liquefied petroleum gas, popularly called cooking gas, the federal government stated on Thursday. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Prey Silver, disclosed this in Abuja at the 2022 Oloibiri Lecture Series and Energy Forum with the team Global Energy Transition Implication on Future Investments in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. He attributed the shortfall to the high level of energy poverty in Nigeria, stressing that the promoters of global energy transition must adequately consider factors such as energy security and economic development. Silver, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources, Sani Guazo, stated that Nigeria's goal should be energy sufficiency in order to ensure energy security and end the ravaging energy poverty across the country. The Debt Management Office DMO has explained while receiving crude oil payments in Naira rather in dollars is not a good idea for Nigeria. Patience Oniha, the agency's director general, reviewed this during a question and answer session at Covenant University in Ogun State on Thursday during the National Budget Roundtable and Panel Discussion. The Institution's Center for Economic Policy and Development Research hosted the Budget Roundtable tagged National Budgeting for Economic Recovery and Sustainable Development in Nigeria. She explained that payments for Nigeria's crude oil in Naira would translate to Nigeria's external reserves and currency decline, pointing out that Nigeria has been dependent on external reserves from which the Central Bank of Nigeria sells foreign exchange. <laughs> The South African government has taken bold steps to reduce petrol price and introduced competition in the country's retail fuel industry. 
For years, South Africa has had a government-ordained fuel price under pressure from rising inflation and exploding oil prices from the war in Ukraine. The government has proposed the introduction of a fuel cap which will allow petrol retailers to charge less than the maximum price. The result, the government hopes, will be more competition among fuel retailers which could help bring down the price. The more immediate measures include a reduction in the fuel levy, that is, government tax on petrol, by 1.50 rands per litre from Wednesday 6 April to Tuesday 31st May. <laughs>